All right, here it is. Bike check. It's the Pivot Vault. Haven't even ridden it yet. Um, just finally got the wheels in. Uh, if you've been trying to build bikes or buy bikes during COVID right now, you've probably struggled with sourcing some things and it took a while to get these white industries hubs in um, and some other things. But finally got the wheels built up and she's ready to fly. Like I said, haven't even ridden it yet. So let me walk you through it front to back um, on this bike. Really excited about it. So I'll start with the frame. This is a Pivot Vault. It's their gravel frame. Um, I chose it because um, I really wanted close to road bike type geometry. I didn't want to go full gravel with the huge stack height um, and the really relaxed position, although this is definitely more relaxed than my road bikes currently, but it's pretty darn close. Um, and that my local shop is a pivot dealer and, I, and I'm always about going through the local shop um, to get things plus the support when you buy your bike through the local shop. So there were some other bikes that maybe I would have liked more, but they weren't available there. And this one's just fine, you know. I'm pretty excited about the Pivot Vault. Um, nothing super interesting about it except for maybe Isoflex. Um, basically, there's a, a, a rubber uh, sleeve inside the seat post that gives some vibration dampening and again i haven't ridden it so i don't know how you know how effective that is um it probably just going to be doing smaller vibration type stuff obviously it's going to do nothing for big hits not that i'm looking for big hits uh the other the other feature that's this frame is capable of a dropper post because you can put a 30 you know the 31 or whatever in there i have the 27 mill in there so a narrower post uh, that goes in that sleeve and so that's how i'm running it so um, it has room for 45 c tire on a 700 c rim uh, and it has a, some drop stays the stays are both dropped the same on this where it's not a full asymmetric drop maybe slightly more dropped uh, on the non-drive side and you can see in there i'm running just for understanding there is a, a stages crank power meter on there plenty of clearance no worry about that so excited about the frame um, really good looking this color is called sandstorm a bit dramatic um, and you'll notice the color is not one you'll see on their website with this pink I actually painted it um, it came in orange and uh, the two colors the frame comes in one is blue and I believe the accents are red and then this sandstorm and the accents are pink, are orange. Uh, I just didn't want orange. I figured, why not? I'll mask the orange bits off and make them pink. That's how I'll roll. And that's what I did. I, and, and I like it. I dig it. Um, why not? So I got the pink bar tape, pink hubs, um, and I have some pink uh, tubeless valves coming. Not set up tubeless yet. Uh, valves on the way. Again, sourcing stuff right now in bike world is really tough. So that's... That's the frame. Um, a couple other things. All the black you see is is not paint. This is actually uh, it might not show up on video, but you can see some of the the marbling artifacts of carbon. But all the black um, is bare carbon, or at least a a matte clear finish on bare carbon. Um, and then all the pink and tan is pink and tan paint. So that's the frame. Now let's take a look at the build. All right, now the build. Let's start with the wheels. This is roll. I think you can see that black reflective. Those are reflective uh, stickers that show up pretty good in, in different light. Um, it's a roll, it's their C45. I'm a huge fan of roll wheels. I've run a bunch of them over the years. I'm running a C55 on my Aero uh, race bike. Uh, this is the C45 and I think 45 millimeters is a great compromise um, for an all-arounder. You know, you really start to see some significant aero gains with a 45 mil tire, um, but it's still fairly light, and in nasty winds isn't gonna be a huge handful. So, got the C45 on there, and the thing about Roll is they're running 
uh, a more a really modern uh, profile on the rim as you can see it's it's very wide on the inside which we've learned is is very good at addressing crosswinds and keeping it uh, keeping it steady in the crosswinds but it's also a very wide uh, rim it's 29 and a half at where the brake track would be and all the way up to 30 mils um, so it's a little wider you know as you get you know midway down the rim this is similar if you've looked at profiles of envy um, i'm running some envies on my on my tcr right now and it's the same thing it's almost the same same dimensions and roll and envy are some of the only wheel manufacturers out there doing that they have this uh, more modern profile to the rim um, and i think that's great so it, i'm going to get some pretty good aero gains um, have a white industries hub on there i didn't pick it for any performance purposes i just wanted pink and sean at roll highly recommended this hub it's a center lock uh, and then you know great hub sounds good uh, and then the tire i'm running right now obviously with gravel you know the tires the course makes the tire right now i have a uh, a Vitt vittoria terreno zero which is a really fast oriented gravel type tire with a slick center and then what they call fish scale on the on the on the sides which is like uh you know if i rub it this way it's just like fish scales you don't really feel it but when i go that way you can feel the ridge so it's it's designed to be a fast tire that's going to give you grip uh, when you get onto the shoulders and corner and then when you're braking and you compress the tire a little bit so i'm i'm, I'm curious to see how that rides um, i went with a narrower one for now um, i don't have any uh, significant heavy gravel on on the menu right now and Texas gravel if you're from Texas it's really rideable if you're not in a group if you get to pick your own line you can run it on I've raced gravel races on 25s because some of our gravel is is smoother than some of our, our chip seal roads in Texas so that's the wheel while I'm down here rotors are Dura Ace running a 160 out front and a 140 in the back I'm doing the same thing on my TCR, uh, so wheels are interchangeable. Uh, and uh, I'm running the 160. I'm a big dude. I I I go between 185 and 190 any given day. Uh, Ultegra calipers uh, being being actuated by Ultegra levers, hydraulic braking, mechanical shifting, and then we're running the Envy SES won't focus aero bar and i chose this bar because a i wanted an aero bar that and b one that could take clip on aero bars uh, and as you know that's that that's a that can be an, a huge advantage in gravel racing and i've built this to be a gravel race bike uh, specifically for texas it might, might have looked at other bikes if i was into more kansas dirty kansas type riding but in texas um, gravel races are high speed affairs, very similar to road racing, uh, but you do end up on your own many times and those clip on aero bars will help. I haven't picked them up yet, uh, but I did pick these aero bars because, uh, because I want to be able to put clip on aero bars on there. And the other thing is Envy's sizing is really weird. I normally ride traditionally what you would call a 42 centimeter bar where it's 42 you know hood to hood or center here where envy actually calls this bar a 46 and nothing on it measures 46 it's 41 from center to center where the hood would be and it's 45 in the drop so it's a little narrower than when i was riding the aragon aero bar which was 42 and then it was 44 or 43 more and so and so it's a little wider here and a little narrower there so you can see it does have some flair. Um, so far so good, I've, I put the same bar on my TCR. I'll do a bike check on that pretty soon. Um, but yeah, I have the SES Aero Bar. So far so good, routing came pretty clean. I know there's some concern with internal routing on bars. If you're running mechanical group set, getting two hoses through there, the hydraulic hose and the mechanical housing uh, can be a challenge. Didn't fit in the Argon, 
does here definitely definitely was a lot of work to get those routed through there but it's a really clean install and the front end looks looks nice now i'm really happy about that uh bar fly mount integrated in the physique 120 mil stem um, i love that mount very integrated looks good physique uh bond cush classic finish i've, I've shown in videos before this is the only bar tape if you want to run bright colors or white that is actually stays bright color or white. It's very cleanable. I like it a lot. And I'm having trouble sourcing it for the TCR right now because the bike supply chain worldwide is in shambles because of COVID. Let's move on to the crank set. I had this Durace crank set. I forget what this number is. Uh, it's not the 9000. It's the generation right before that. So I don't know if that's... If that's 8900 or whatever anyway durace crank set uh on its previous bike this this was a standard crank also with absolute black but i've made it compact for gravel purposes so this is a 50 34 absolute back black these are round chain rings it's a gold kmc chain i didn't get it for any particular reason other than the durace chain which i normally run wasn't available where i was trying to buy it and they had this so I put the gold chain on there. It looks kind of cool. Uh, XTR pedals for gravel days. I'll run a speed play zero uh, for the kind of days where I won't ever need to touch ground, which is honestly most gravel in Texas. I won't be running mountain pedals. I'll run road shoes and road pedals because you never have to walk anything in, in Texas gravel races. Uh, so solid crank set. It's got a lot of miles in it. Again, as pointed out earlier, stages crank based fits on the frame no problem arundel cages this isn't the mandible it's the other one i forget what it's called uh, i've been running these on other bikes for years and it's never let me down i've never lost a bottle i may maybe famous last words um onto the back end here getting bright in the sun hopefully this works um i'm running a the ultegra this is the ultegra rx so it's an Ultegra, it's a road, a road gravel um, mech, you know, derailleur. It has a clutch on it uh, that you may or may not use depending on, on the settings. I think a clutch is a must on a gravel bike, so that's why I went with that. Um, I have an Ultegra, the older Ultegra front mech that I just had laying around, threw that on the front. Uh, I may change that to the updated one. Again, I've been trying to buy one and I just can't find them anywhere. And then I have a Dura Ace 11 to 30 cassette out back. So the 3430 is my low gear. Lowest gear I've ever had on a road bike, although it is a gravel bike. Um, and then the last thing is we're perched up on top of an ISM. This is the PN40. It's their newest saddle. Um, ISM, I think, has realized that roadies are riding their saddles and they finally made a saddle that really is a road saddle um, you can move around on it a lot more this is my go-to have it on the tcr probably gonna put this on my mountain bike as well i love the saddle it's been great um, so there you go that is the build on the pivot vault excited to ride it